the status of uh, how you feeling there, Ryan? Did that come close to knocking you out for the rest of the game? Or? Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Um, yeah, I had a battle through it there at the end. Um, sometimes it comes with it comes with the territory, right? I'm going to be out there um, if I can at all at all possible. So I'm um, going to do everything I can this week to uh, to get it right and feeling best I can for Sunday. Just just to kind of take some pressure off of it for now. Yeah, just to uh, give it give a little time to to heal up, take some pressure while I'm getting out of the stadium, getting home, and, and all that type of stuff. Jeffrey Simmons said you're the toughest quarterback in the league that he's seen. Were you, and Mike Bray will compliment you on that too. Where does that toughness come from? I don't know, probably a little bit the way I was raised and then something that's uh, kind of just the way I am, you know? Uh, you know, life is hard, right? Life is hard, football's hard at times. Um, it's all about how you respond. You know, you're going to go through tough things physically, emotionally, mentally, and um, as people, you know, we're going to grow from those experiences if we allow ourselves to. So, uh, this is just another bump in the road. You know, another uh, thing I can I can grow from. So, just work through it and and um, try to be better for it. What happened, Ryan? Did it get under you or? I kind of got rolled up from the back. I threw the pass and was uh, was there in the pocket, and uh, somebody you know fell into me from uh, from the back and kind of got my knee and, and ankle. This team shows some toughness to win this game today. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. We've showed toughness all year, and um, proud of our guys the way we battled today. You know, defense played great all game. Had some huge stops for us. Offense, you know, did enough and, and got the job done there at the end. You know, we were able to move the ball. Get points and in crucial situations uh, in our next to last drive, and then the last drive there, able to get a couple first downs and uh, and run out the clock. You guys have struggled in the second half so far this year. How'd you feel about today's second half performance offensively? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously we didn't uh, light up the scoreboard, but we we did what we needed to do to, to go get the win. You know, we were able to, to score points there, uh, like I said, on our next to last drive, and to, to make it a two score game when we needed to. And then, um, like I said, move the ball enough to get a couple first downs and, and finish the game. You've been asked about Hooper. You've been asked about Hooper on a weekly basis. How good was it to see him finally get involved? Yeah, it was great. It was great. You know, I, I've said it all, all along. Just like the ball's going to find him. The guy's doing a good job for us. He's consistent. He works in practice. Uh, I have a I have a great connection with him. So uh, it was just a matter of time. And today he made made two huge plays. Um, one was the first one was tight coverage. Obviously, I guess before that, back it up on a third down. Right, had to throw it short to him. He was able to break a tackle, make a guy miss, and get convert a huge third down for us. And then um, you know was able to hit him on a on a crossing route there a little bit later. Made a great adjustment to the ball. I didn't see it. I got hit, but. Um, from where I, I threw it, I knew he was going to have to adjust to it. So obviously he was able to make that play. And then on the, uh, the final scoring drive, uh, that huge catch kind of off schedule, uh, getting contacted and hanging with it and, uh, and making the play. So, um, you know, happy to see him get going. Brian, you, you jumped up pretty quick when you were hurrying. And they, it seemed like you were trying to walk it off. Did you feel like you were frustrated when you kind of had to go back down, I guess, and you couldn't do that right away? Yeah, you know, I was, I, I'm going to get up if I can. And uh, when I got up, I realized I was going to need need a little time more than uh, more than 10 seconds to get get back in the huddle and get ready for the next one. So, um, yeah, frustrating to, to have to go back down in that moment. But uh, I knew I wasn't going to be able to to play the the next snap effectively. So, um, you know, I had to go back down and and um, reset. You kind of touched on the, the Hooper catch at the end. Did you see a replay of it? Pretty crazy how he was able to kind of keep concentration and, and catch that ball. Yeah, it was a great catch. Um, yeah, like I said, off schedule. Saw the replay whenever they were reviewing it. Uh, took contact in the back. Off balance, ball kind of got bobbled around, and I think he pinned it against his forearm or something there on the outside. So just a heck of a catch by him, hanging with it through the contact and making the play. How tough was the mobility for, for you on that play? I think that came after the injury, too. Was it difficult to move around in the pocket? Yeah, it definitely didn't feel great. Um, but the O-line did a good job protecting me there. Uh, kind of caved down the right side a little bit. I was able to move off schedule. They, they did a good job covering our initial play. And uh, Austin just kept working for me through the middle of the field there and, and made the play. Did Vrabel say anything to you, Ryan? He was talking to us a lot about your toughness, the team's toughness in general. Did, did he you know, single you out or, or talk to you at all after the game about that? Uh, he's giving me affirmations. You know, just you know, He's proud of me and, and appreciates me for being tough and, uh, and all that type of stuff. So. You know, I definitely appreciate that. Four straight wins after an 0 2 start. What do you attribute that, that streak to, that kind of turnaround right now? We're a tough team. You know, we're a tough team. We're going to keep battling and uh, we find a way to win. You know, at the end of the day, that's what we're 
trying to accomplish each and every week is, is going out and, and finding a way to win. And our team's going to battle and find a way to do that. How good of a feeling was it when you guys were kind of icing the game and, and especially the late run by Derek where, where we got the push and went about 10 yards with it? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, I told those guys in the huddle, it's going to be all, be all about our finish right now. You got to want it more than they want it. And um, to start the drive off that way, you know, they kind of stuffed it for probably a couple yards. Derek kind of got stood up, and then the offensive line kind of came behind him and, and was able to surge for, I don't know, five, six, seven extra yards there. So um, really just a cool play. Obviously energized the sideline, got everyone juiced. And then, and then the next, you know, set, you know, we we're going to have to get another first down. So was was just trying to channel that energy into uh, continuing that uh, that drive and, and getting another first down. What, what happened in the, in the exchange there, I guess, between you and Malik? Yeah, Malik and I weren't clean. Um, you know, tough tough deal there. Uh, we'll, we'll get it cleaned up. Beyond the, the toughness, Ryan, the boys today, uh, it was a game that was really decided by mistakes. Uh, your counterpart made some, and, and you really minimized yours. How much pride do you take in in a game like this that's of attrition, you guys fought through the injuries and, and didn't make the, the mistakes beyond that, that one that was very survivable. Yeah, we, we preach it all the time. Um, just being able to, to handle the adversity, uh, keep fighting, keep swinging, and uh, you know, taking care of the ball and, and getting the ball is one of our team keys that we talk about each and every week. So defense did that. They, they got the ball for us, got two picks. And, um, and offensively, we did, except for the, uh, the exchange issue, you know, we did a solid job of taking care of it. Ryan, you talk about the two picks. One of those went the distance. How much does that energize the team and the offense? Oh, no doubt. I mean, anytime the defense scores or makes any type of big play, whether it's a sack, a strip sack, an interception, and you know, anytime they score, it only elevates that energy boost that it gives the team and, and uh, the sideline. So, a uh, huge play, especially as they're getting down into that field goal range uh, there on that drive. So, uh, you know, at least a ten point swing there. Does a hard-fought win like this mean a little bit more to you guys in the locker room when it means you've swept a big division rival like that? You know, I try to enjoy each and every win, but no doubt, you know, beating a division opponent um, at home in front of our fans is something that we're going to try to do each and every time. Um, and when you have to battle for it and earn it and it goes down to the end like that, uh, it definitely tastes a little sweeter. What, what goes on in that, in that blue medical tent when you go in there? And, and as part of it, you got to convince them you're OK? Uh, doing a little evaluation and a little uh, tape job and, and just trying to get right for uh, I had a feeling, you know, when I came off, I was able to kind of walk off. I knew it wasn't good, but I knew I was going to be able to, uh, to battle through it. So then it's just about going in there, getting evaluated, and, and um, getting yourself mentally and physically ready to, to go out and keep battling. Will you be able to sleep through the night tonight, or you have to get up and ice along the way? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out here in a, in a couple hours. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a, a long week of, of doing everything I can to, uh, to get this thing right. Derek, on that late run where the offensive line joined in and helped push you to, to the first down, is that kind of symbolic of this team? Um, yeah, I just, um, you know, they, we always talk about finishing and, and that's what we preach every day. And, um, you know, I was happy that I was able to get a final push to get a little bit of extra yardage from those guys. And, um, you know, we spout in the trenches always. How worried, Derek, are you about Ryan? I mean, he misses a snap, but he comes back in and, you know, he's in a boot. Uh, but uh, having seen him be out there game and game again, what are your thoughts on how worried are you about him? Um, like I said earlier this week, I mean, he's a warrior. He's the leader of this team. And, you know, whatever he can do to help us. And, you know, he got banged up. He was able to get get back out there. And that's the mentality that he has. But, I, you know, for sure told him I'm going to have to send him a text early in the morning to see how he's doing. So hopefully it's not too bad. But, you know, I think, I think he'll be fine. You know, his mentality, if he can get out there, he's going to go. I think, you know, he went out, came back in. Jeffrey did the same. Ben did the same. I mean, it kind of speaks to maybe the overall toughness of this of this team. Yeah, for sure. Um, those are our leaders, and um, you know they're gonna do whatever they can to help this team win. This team is 0-2 to start now, one four in a row. How was this team able to kind of gather itself when you feel like you're maybe building momentum as the season goes on? Yeah, I think it's just taking one week at a time and trust and believe in our culture and preparation in all three phases, and then just focus on getting better and better every day, and that's all we can do week by week. You had a couple runs today. Nearly be the big one that we've kind of been waiting to see from you, like you've done your whole career. Yeah, I'm not you feel gonna like let that just... go, huh? I'll bring that up every week. 
<laughs> you feel like it's just a matter of time before you break off the big one and get six? It happens when it happens, trust me. You had 30 carries today. That You said you like the ball in your hands no matter whether it's rushing or receiving. That's your kind of game right there, getting the ball 30 times and being able to get positive yards on, on almost every snap? Well, you know, um, whatever it requires for us to win, um, I'm always um, – you know, wanting to do what I can um, to help the team win the game, and that's what we required today. And you know, we it's, it's a tough team, had a, a good defense, so you know, you just got to stay with it, and you know, finish runs and get what you can. You mentioned, you mentioned the toughness of Tannehill. There were several other players battling through injuries today. What can you say? Just the resiliency of this team, able to pull this one out despite the adversity. Um. Yeah. Um. Guys, just um. You know, battling through some things, getting back out there, contribute, contributing in the best way they can. I think that's the mentality of this team, the resiliency, you know, that we try to come with every day. And then, you know, we can come out and help. You know, even if we banged up, I think guys are going to try to do that. I think you've seen that today from the toughness that they have. For a long time, this team was on the other side of, the, of this robbery as far as how the results were going. How good does it feel to kind of – Control this rivalry right now, and how and maybe important is that if you're going to try to win this division? Yeah, I mean, we know we, they're they're never going to go away. I mean, they're a tough team. It's always been tough battles since I've been here playing against them, and um, I got a lot of respect for the, uh, that team over there. I mean, they play hard um, on, on on all three phases, and they're a, a well coached team. Uh, but um, no credit to you know the guys over here just being locked in. You know, every 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 time we play these guys and you know playing hard, um, finishing, and doing the things we need to do that requires require us to win. John, what do you got? Teresa, hi. <laughs> New spot. New spot. Uh, uh, Mike, on a day where offense uh, struggle maybe a little bit, nice to get. Uh, I don't know. It's good defense. Turnovers. You know, I mean, it's great. It's great to get turnovers and, for the most part, take care of the football. Uh, that's going to be the formula. If you guys haven't figured that out, that's what, how we're going to have to play. Um, but, it, you know, I mean, it's a battle. It's a good defense. It's a very good defense. So um, we were close on some things, and we'll have to continue to look and work. And, but I'm just extremely proud of these guys. I'm proud of all three phases. Coach, several players battling through some injuries today. What can you say about overall toughness, resiliency of this team? Amazing. You know, I would – you know, never would have dreamed that given the opportunity to coach, you know, be a head coach in this league, that you know, you'd be able to coach a bunch of guys that are as tough as they are, that, that care about each other. Um, and, and I know that it's professional football and there's a lot of tough guys. I understand that. But, you know, top to bottom, you know, I think it becomes somewhat infectious. Um, you know, when guys are peeling themselves off the turf, getting, getting checked out, getting, getting taped up, doing whatever they have to do to be out there. Um, they're extremely proud of their their toughness and um, their resolve, mental toughness as well. Yeah, a lot of guys make plays on defense. I mean, Andrew, Andrew Adams, one of the guys that kind of rose to the occasion for you today. Yeah, T. Mitch and him were both signed, and Andrew Adams were both signed on the same day. You know, neither of them were um, working. You know, they were on practice squads, and um, you know they they took advantage of their opportunities. And, and I know that it hasn't been perfect, and the, you know no one is, but they made huge plays today, turnovers, and and one that was you know. Pretty much iced the game, and the other one that you know broke it open. How important was it for you guys, Mike, after the, the fumble that you lost to not give up the? Yeah, the touchdown there, and the defense did a great job of uh, forcing them to a field goal and hold them to a field goal. That was key. You know, we had the one drive that you know they're going to reflect back on, and we're going to have to look back and see you know where we went, where where we went off uh, out of half. But you know, other than that, I thought they played great. They made them earn it. I mean, we really made them earn it. Uh, and then we were able to get the turnovers. I was coming off a, an awfully good game. What were you guys able to do so well to, to stop them from doing it again? I think we communicated. I don't think we were caught off guard by their ability to work on the football. You know, um, I thought the communication was there. I thought we were, you know, we had guys out on the field that were supposed to be out there and, you know, made it earn them. And when, you know, when the quarterback was able to, you know, force to hold the football, you know, guys were, were getting to them, were making them move around. What can you say about a guy like Austin Hooper who didn't quite have the production, didn't complain, and here he has a big game today? Yeah, huge game. Helped us out. And, you know, I mean, it's where we're at right now, there is not a whole lot of opportunities for, for production. You know, we, we've, we've talked about this, you know, just the number of snaps. But clearly, um, you know, appreciated what he's done and, and worked. And, 
you know, given the opportunity, that's what you have to do. You have to go make some plays and, you know, came up huge. Uh, you know, Ryan's always had trust in him and, you know, we're just able to get him out there today and, you know, had two really nice catches down the field, had the, had the third down, you know, being able to cut back in and, and, and keep that drive alive, which was, which was great. Mike Adams in the first half, eight tackles in the pit. Was there anything in particular that was putting him in position to make plays early? No, I mean, just I think some of those pat, you know, those quick game passes, I think it looked like that he was involved in and he's, you know, down around the line of scrimmage. And, you know, I have to take a look at the film, but, the, you know, the interception was, was a great job by the players getting, getting, getting the check um, and then executing it. And, you know, Bud being able to match the hand. Um, and the other guys, the DBs, Christian and, and Andrew, being able to break on it. So it was well executed, um, you know, against their empty. In many ways, Ryan at his best in terms of taking what's there, not getting you guys in trouble. And That's what, kind of what we have to do. You know, we have to find ways to win football games. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the way that they did that, and especially Ryan. You know, we have to continue to protect him better. Uh, nothing good com- you know, comes from having your quarterback hit in this league. We know that. So we'll have to get back to work. And, uh, but his toughness is, is off the charts, you know, along with a lot of other guys. But you know, I, I appreciate them all. How big was it that Amani was able to shift over and play the nickel position for you, and how did he do there today? I mean, I think we'll take a look at the film. I'm sure there was some plays he'd like to have back. I can remember a pass in particular over on their sidelines that – you know, we probably got to be a little better on and challenge. And but I saw him, you know, replacing. I saw him fitting on a run. I saw him playing fast. Um, so I'll I'll try to take a look at the film. He he really is in. You know, he's got a full grasp of our off, our defense. Whether it's what the corner is supposed to do, what the th- safety is supposed to do, or what the nickel is supposed to do. And so he's got a versatile skill set. And um, you know, he's shown that since he's he's. Been with us. I know it's a week, a week to week league, but after starting 0 2, you like the way you've won four in a row and feel like you're maybe building some confidence in momentum. Well, you know, we're coming off a bye and being able to get a victory. Um, tough week of work against a, you know, an opponent that you know clearly showed that they weren't going to go away. But I'm proud of our guys for finding ways to win, um, and hopefully we can continue. You know, as we work our way, you know, into Houston in this division. But it uh, certainly feels good to be able to, to say that we've won four games in a row and uh, for the most part doing things the way that we think that they need to be done right now. Joe, before the, you had a question before to chuckle, what would you have? Thank you. Uh, just what's it mean to have Bud back on the defense? Well, it gives us some size and some speed, and you know, we'll you know, see how he played and take a look at it. But um, you know, those are our expectations you know, for, for those players that are you know, at a certain level. At a compensation level, like that's how this business works. I mean, players you pay a lot to, they got to perform. Should come as no secret in the salary cap. How inspirational was it for me, uh, when you uh, talked about the kind of the walking wounded out there that play towards the end when the pile gets pushed forward? Unbelievable. I felt like that was like, I mean, just pretty much summed up everything that we wanted to do. It's good defense, good run defense. You know, they're fast, they're big in the middle, and, um, you know, we were close. It was great to see Derek bust out of there at the end. But, you know, that, that 10-yard pile push or that run for 10 yards was, you know, you're starting to look at the clock and you're like, okay, it's going to be third down at two-minute warning and then what's going to happen? And next thing you know, it's just they keep pushing a pile. And, you know, I know that those guys will be si- excited and hopefully there's a good picture, you know, we can hang in the hallway. David Long Jr. just continues to make plays, continues to be everywhere. Just how impressed are you with his ongoing effort? Yep. So, you know, I mean, these are, are guys that have played a lot of football for us. So whether it's Bud, Jeffrey, Danico, Kevin, Amani, David, like we, we have high expectations for them. Like that's, that's how it has to go. You know what I mean? They got to tackle the guy with the ball. They got to rush. They got to cover. And there's no like defense, magic defensive pill or call that's going to get all that to happen. When we win, it's on them, and they don't, you know, we don't let them throw the ball over our heads or have X plays. Uh, we do a good job on third down, get some turnovers. Like it, all the credit goes to the players, and uh, that, that's that's what has to happen in, in any professional sports, is that your front line players have to play good for you to win. And make sure everybody understands that. Like you're five about and guys who come in here who aren't working. What's your knack for those guys being able to come in here and contribute the way they do? Well, there's usually an opportunity, and we try to meet with them. Try, you know, so whether it's Anthony Midget or Scott Booker, you know, those two players, for example, Mitchell and Adams, 
you know, they meet a lot and given the opportunity, you know, they've, they've tried to do the, take the advantage of it. So, and I don't know if there's any knack other than trying to spend some time with a guy and, and put him in places that we feel like he can help us. And then there's also a need, you know what I mean? There's a, there's a need that because somebody's out or somebody, you know, just that you, you, they're given an opportunity. Mike, you're 5-0 coming off of the bye. What does your team do so well with extended rest? Well, how do you, what do you attribute all that success to in your career? Look at the turnover margin. You know, probably they play better and they play well, and, and we take care of the football. I mean, what, I haven't looked at what those numbers are after the bye, um, but I would start there. You know, start with the turnover margin. Good to get Malik involved a little bit. I know you didn't want to come into place, Ryan, but to get him involved, and you think that was on the fumble, maybe Ryan is trying to extend too far with the ankle, or what do you think happened there? I don't know. We'll take a look at it. I thought it was a play that was going to help us, you know, like. Like the call, execution's got to be better, and you know we'll continue to find ways to to have Malik help us. And you know he didn't bat an eye going in there when Ryan, you know, was down for the snap. And you know those are good things. My God, Ryan's toughness in the last couple of years, as much as he's been hit, have you have you gained even more appreciation for that? I've said that since he's been here, Joe. That's the one thing I, I show the team, try to show. You know, I mean, how many quarterbacks turn their back in this league and turn around and throw, you know, a strike or or some sort of outward breaking route with, with guys barreling into him, which we would like to not have. But um, he does that. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's certainly has helped us. And, you know, I, I've always had that appreciation for him.